Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marsha with Marsha's Mind. And what is on my mind today? Uh, six or seven tips on how to have a really peaceful and wonderful life. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I am coming to you all natural today because it's a beautiful summer day. Well, it feels like it. it's going to be 100 today. <laughs> it's already what, I don't know the degree, but it's hot out here. I'm sitting by the pool, listening to the birds, and I love it. So, I'm going to bring to you some tips that um, really have helped change my life, keep my life very happy, and I want to share that with you. Now, all these tips, they were compiled into a video I saw the other day, so I want to share that video with you. I'll link it down below. And I wanted to share them on my channel with you all and um, give my insight on, on them too. So please, before we start, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe if you're interested. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, I appreciate you coming back and supporting my channel. And uh, without further ado, let's go. Okay, so the very first thing is use the vibe love. Use the love vibe, right? I just made a video on how love is the supreme ruling power in the world, okay? And I'll link that video somewhere up here or below. If you let this be the basis of what you do in life, I promise you, you will have a very good outcome. <laughs> For instance, there's an example I love to use. Say you're driving down the road and this person just swoops by you, passes by super quickly, and you know, you usually get mad, right? Instead of that, imagine that they have to maybe go to the bathroom or something and they're in a hurry. So think about that. Come from a place of love or wish them good luck or whatever they need because maybe they have to go to the hospital and see their family. If love is penetrating everything you do, everything is more peaceful that way. Number two, be the best version of yourself, right? There's always these different versions of ourselves. Fearful, doubtful, angry, happy, loving, peaceful. Be the best version of yourself. Number three, there is a saying that small talk is for small minds. You know, when I talk to someone, I don't like to do the small talk. If we don't want to talk, just be quiet. If you want to know how someone's doing, don't ask, how you doing? Ask, how are you feeling? I noticed that it's a little different. Number four, treat people with respect. Everyone, from the waiter to the janitor at school. I've always, always done this in my life because one, you're gonna want that respect back, right? Right. Really tells something of someone's character, the way they treat the help or people who are in a lower position than themselves. Number five, operate your life from a position of integrity. I always like to think of that commercial where you do something right for someone and someone else sees it so they pass it along to someone else. Like for instance at the grocery store, if you see a cart that's about to hit a car, get it. If you see a cart and you need to move it or bring it into the store, bring it. If you see something in the aisle, pick it up if you can. Or a, a, a shirt on the floor in a store, just pick it up if you can. Um, also, I like to put my grocery cart back. Um, a lot of people just leave it out anywhere. It's like, can you at least put it to the side or bring it back? It's integrity. Kind of like that saying, uh, do, what is that saying? Oh no, do something right even when no one's watching. Because you never know who's watching. Plus it's, it's good to live from integrity. Number six, and I just did a video about this. I will link it below or up above somewhere here. Stop worrying, give up worry. One, it's like being in a rocking chair. You're moving, but you're not getting anywhere, and you're not helping anybody by worrying. They say about the 100% of something that you worry about, 8% will happen and the 92% won't. <laughs> so watch my video on that. Number seven, I did a video on this, smile. I'll post it up here in a card or down below. But smile, because this mechanism <laughs> really helps it just releases something in your body chemically and gives you happiness inside. Happy chemicals. It helps change your ener energy flow and helps lift your vibration up. And the bonus that I have learned out of my 47 years of life 
Don't talk about religion or politics. People get so heated up and passionate about that. They just kind of get uneasy about it. They just really get heated up about it. That's what I've noticed. I remember when we were kids, you would made friends easy, right? Why? Because you didn't talk about religion or politics. I remember sitting on a bed with my three friends, my, my two best friends, and they were arguing and stuff about religion, and I was just sitting there about to fall asleep. It was late. It was like a sleepover. And it's like there's so much separation and hatred between all the different groups in religions and politics that really does not jive with being one and being loving, does it? I forgot to say why I even mentioned that. It's because um, after that discussion, um, that whole trio, some people just went their separate ways. So it just goes to show how that can really separate uh, relationships. It's just too bad. But hey, I'm just showing you, I'm just expressing what I've seen in my life. For 47 years, I have learned a lot, and that is one of the tips that was in this video, and I totally agree with it. So, those are the seven tips for you guys to have a great and wonderful, peaceful life. And hopefully, these tips help you. I hope they do. And coming from you, all natural in nature, by the pool, namaste.